out here fishing with a tube jig today for shark bass. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Check that out. Let's see if I can catch more. All right, guys. I just spent about an hour out here at Lake Shawnee uh, fishing a little coffee tube. I think it's Kevin Van Dam. Come with you. sure who makes it just as pro model tubes coffee tube so uh, just a little coffee tube and it kind of smells like coffee when you open the package it's pretty cool uh, and I put that on a drop shot with a uh, weedless weight on there it was Lindy makes those and I just work in the shallows here by the rocks under the bridge and uh, saw my line moving I was like well I got something I let it take off with it a little bit so I could feel the tension on the end of my rod and then I just set the hook and uh, thought maybe it was a small mouth which is what I've been kind of trying to get but it was another thing that I'd never caught before which was a rock bass so I was uh, pleasantly surprised Wish I could uh, cook out a small mouth, but hey man, it's something new and that's uh, kind of what I'm trying to do this year is to knock a few species off my list. Uh, last year I got rainbow trout and my saw guy, so uh, hopefully this year. I, mean, I still got time to get, get a small mouth or uh, try to think of some of the other things on there. A sauger, just regular sauger. I haven't caught one of those before. Uh, yeah, there's a few other things, but I can't think of them right off the top of my head. Spoonbill! <laughs> Go snack a spoonbill. So, I just, uh, yeah, just came out here for an hour. I saw the fishing was going to be good, and uh, we had a little rain coming in, so I was like, well, this might be all right. And uh, now sun's coming out. The bite slowed down, but uh, if you can call it that, one fish, but... I was getting a few other bites in there, I just they weren't taking it, so probably were grabbing, you know, the, the back part and not getting hooked or whatever, or the front part. So, uh, yeah, nice day. It's getting hot already. It's 7:14 and I'm already sweating. It's just humid and sticky hot. There's gonna be another heat advisory today, I guess. So. I uh, might try coming, come out here again tonight or go somewhere else tonight. Uh, it's supposed to be good fishing all day today and really next three days. And so I might get out you know, around dark and see what I can get into. But man, I'm just glad I caught something. <laughs> it's been a while since I caught something out here. So that, that made me pretty happy, even if it is a little rock bass. I, I'm just glad. And even if it's just a bass. I haven't caught a bass in like... Well, like the last one I caught was at, at my Uncle Dennis's, and that would have been sometime last week, Wednesday or Thursday. So, but uh, yeah, we've caught some, got a few good good nibbles here and there. So, I had a good walleye on there. Yes, or let's see, two days ago, went up to State Lake and hooked into a walleye, and it came off on the rocks. If I would have had anything other than six pound, six pound test line on there he would have he would have been bank flipped and <laughs> in in my belly by now so but uh that, yeah that's the way it happens so i'm gonna try to get something else here this week we'll see what happens take care and uh check out my new lure lock i had isn't that sweet i got my new lure locks Woo! i won't be getting all my lures tangled up probably I can just get something to prevent my glasses from fogging up out here. That would be sweet. So here's a bit of an update. I came back the next day to the same bridge and uh, was fishing with uh, some wax worms on a little jig and slip bobber. And uh, lo and behold, I caught my first ever warm mouth. So two days in a row catching uh, a new species of fish. Hey, you can't do much better than that, man. So pretty happy, and uh, hope you all enjoy the fishing right now.